following weeks of upheaval that have featured athletes on their knees, outraged fans and presidential reprimands, NFL players and owners met Tuesday in New York to discuss the anthem protests that have dominated the season. In a joint statement from the league and its players' union, the NFL said the owners and players had a productive meeting focused on how we can work together to promote social change and address inequality in our communities. But it appears there will no changes made, at least on Tuesday, in league rules or guidelines that would force players to stand for the anthem. If the expectation was getting closure on the anthem issue for the NFL, there will be disappointment, NFL.com insider Ian Rapoport tweeted. Nothing final today, it sounds like. The statement said the group of 12 active players, 11 owners and other league power players, including Commissioner Roger Goodell, discussed plans to utilize the NFL's multi-billion dollar stage to promote equality and effectuate positive change. Spurred last season by no one employed quarterback Colin Kaepernick, the kneeling protests are largely aimed at shining a light on racial injustice in the U.S., but many in the stands see it as unpatriotic and disrespectful to the military. The controversy came to a head last month after President Donald Trump harshly condemned the protests in public, calling for players who take a knee to be fired. The statement emphasized that the NFL and its players have tremendous respect for our country, our anthem and our military. Goodell, Baldwin support Senate Bill NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and Seahawks receiver Doug Baldwin co-signed a letter to the Senate Judiciary Committee supporting a bipartisan bill on criminal justice reform. The Sentencing Reform and Corrections Act of 2017, introduced by Sen. Chuck Grassley Riowa on October 4, would reduce and restrict enhanced sentencing for prior drug felonies, limit mandatory minimums on drug offenses while tightening sentences for domestic abuse and certain opiate violations. In the letter, Goodell and Baldwin said the bill would address many of the issues on which out players have worked to raise awareness of over the last two seasons. This bill seeks to improve public safety, increase rehabilitation, and strengthen families. If enacted, it would be a positive step in our collective efforts to move our nation forward. Click here to read the bill, and click here to read the letter. Jaguars apologize for protest. The president of the Jacksonville Jaguars apologized to the city's top military of veterans representative for a protest by players last month in London, according to WJXT, in a September 24 game at London's Wembley Stadium. About a dozen Jaguars players, as well Baltimore Ravens players on the opposing sideline, took a knee during the national anthem. They then stood for the singing of God Save the Queen. More than a week later, Jaguars president Mark Lamping, owner Shad Khan and team executive Tom Coughlin met with Bill Spann, Jacksonville's director of military affairs and the Veterans Department. In a letter sent October 6, Lamping thanked Spann for candidly sharing his views on the protest and said the team DIDNT fully comprehend how the actions would be seen. We owe you an apology and hope you will accept it, the letter reads. In times of social and society unrest there is often talk about the importance of advancing the conversation to understand and ultimately solve whatever challenges or differences may exist. Actually having those conversations, at least in a meaningful fashion, is sometimes difficult. We cannot thank you enough for engaging with us in a discussion intended to chart a path for out continued and successful partnership and friendship here in Jacksonville.